Hey guys, welcome to another video from HMS. I'm Lua Tosi and it's good to have you right back on our channel. Thanks for tuning in. As you can see from the title of this video, it is dealing with artful words in medical school. First things first, I'd like to apologize to you on behalf of your consultant. <laughs> It's not normal for you to get insulted in school. Like, I don't mean insult of you're an idiot, you are slow. No, insult of your brain is full of sandpaper and you know all those concock insults. <laughs> so, I'm really sorry that that has to happen, but it is what it is. Those things might not be evitable they might not be things that you can do away with in this medical practice and you can think oh once i become a doctor it's all going to end no brother it's not going to end <laughs> because up until residency you are still going to be chopping insults left right center back to back up and down everywhere if you know what i mean i've been in a clinical meeting before and the, in, the residence was insulted so badly, I made up my mind that day not to do residency. Because I felt medical school is like a glimpse into this air called med, medical practice. Then you coming back to do residency is like willingly entering the fire all over again. So that day I made up my mind, no way, there's no way I'm going to do this. But I think I have a change of mind now, I don't know yet. Let's see how it goes. It's not going to end. Let me not say that affirmatively, but chances are that it will not end. So we need to all devise mechanisms to help us cope and not break down emotionally in this practice. Because we need to stay LD. Like we said in our staying LD video, it is very important that we stay LD. A wounded doctor cannot successfully treat patients. Let's talk about some ways by which you can deal with hurtful words. The first thing is that when you are under attack, don't tell them I use that word, <laughs> when you are under attack and you are in some sort of banter with your ogre, don't argue with them. The next best thing to do is to keep quiet and look sober. You don't have to necessarily be sober because chances are that you are not even wrong in the first place. But act sober if you know what I mean. Look sober. Your head down, your eyes low, your hands in front, cross. Just act it for them. Look sober. Don't argue. By the time you start to get in a word fight with them, it fuels them the more and you really don't want to get in that space. So don't argue with them, just keep quiet, act sober, you know. And then the next thing to do, this is not, um, it might be a bit difficult at first, but with time, like I said, it's the normal way of life for us here in this practice. With time, you're going to get used to it. So the next thing to do is to not take it personal. Trust me. There's one of our consultants that told us before that he just picks on us for the fun of it when he feels like having fun. So they probably do not even mean it. And even the ones that mean it, ask them two, three hours later. They do not remember the person they insulted or the insults they gave the person. So, yeah, not that significant in their head. So don't take it to heart. It's just one of those things that they do to also survive. It's cruise, yes, you are just catching through. So you two don't need to cruise, catch cruise, go home, sip, juice, and be happy. Don't take it to heart, really. It's not deep. I know that it's difficult to accept the fact that it's not deep, but trust me, it's not. And then the other thing that I would like us to do is that talk to your friends about it. That's like the third thing make fun about it like tell them that ha ah, did you even hear what clinical said clinical or maybe your one of your friends that is in that group you all should laugh about it laugh it out and i know that it does not necessarily um undo the art that's done to you but it kind of waters the effect down a bit in your heart <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is in an interview some weeks ago and someone asked me what is it going to be what how do we change these things 
we can't really change it. Our organs are already our organs. We cannot change their way of life. But one thing that I would like us all to do, we are all going to become doctors. One thing that you should do, you watching this video, is that you should make up your mind that no matter what happens in this practice, no matter the kind of crush you get in this practice, you are not going to pass it down to other people. It's going to be difficult because you feel I was also emotionally wounded. Why should I not do it to others? But if we keep going that route, then this is going to keep continuing and nothing is going to change. So you have to personally determine that no matter what, I choose to still be a happy person irrespective and that's where all the three tips we talked about comes in to help you alleviate all the hurt and crush so you have to choose that i am not going to be a hurtful doctor i am not going to hurt people that are in training under me do you get so it's a conscious thing it's something that you have to choose to work on daily right from now as a medical student be kind so people wonder you be kind to your subordinates, be kind to your students, be kind to your juniors right from now. And last, last, in the next 10, 15, 20 years, hopefully the medical practice will become the medical practice of our dreams. You and I together, we can make this come true. So thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you found this helpful, please leave a comment. We want you to share your experience with us. We're looking at putting all of these experiences together and doing something really nice with it. So we would appreciate random experiences that you've gone through, medicine one, surgery one, medicine two, surgery two, and you know all the clinical postings you've gone through. They don't have to be so long. They might be so long. They might be medium, but please just share your experiences with us so that we come up with an amazing content for you guys about that. So comment, like, and share with your friends so that they can also share their experiences with us and together we can all make fun of these things and as well learn from it and become better doctors, happy doctors. Because we all can be doctor and happy. So see you in the next one. Bye.